Good evening, Kevin Clapes. Welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. Yes, that's right, Below Zero. We're going to mix it up a little bit, uh, see what this new game has to offer in its current, current state. It is very, very much nearly there, uh, and it is very, very much near to the final, final release. So we're going to get this show on the road and see what this game is all about. I'll catch you in two. Okay, cool. Sam Goodall, incoming transmission. Tab? Yep, that'll be it. Ah. Okay, PDA, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so interviewer. Uh, I'm not gonna read all this, guys. Um, at the moment, there is a particular thing with Subnautica Below Zero where they've changed the dialogue at the initial, uh, the very start of the game. Um, so they've dropped the audio for some reason. But yeah, okay. So I'm going up there now. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get into the game. Uh, we know pretty much what the story is going to be like. And if, if not, then we're going to find out. Because this is literally part one. Is there any more PDAs around here? Yes, there is. Okay, station zero, facilities, three to six person accommodation, full science and engineering section, living weather forecasting suite, prawn bay. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take advantage of the prawn suits, which is a bit of a shame. But what is that? Oh, sea glider fragment. Oh, well, sea glider actually. Oh, prawn suits. I want you. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's let's get in this water and let's get it going. Okay, so new feature, some sort of rocket again. Um, I'm almost tempted to check it out. Obviously, it's limited texture, but yeah, all good. Like I said, guys, this is an unfinished game. But it is very, very much nearly there. Um, and when it comes out, it is going to be a ball breaker. Sound effects are clenching the sphincter. Or they will do when you're in the deep dark. Okay, so who am I speaking to? So again, dialogue's changed, so they've removed the original sort of um, voices. Oh, Alien Site Zero. What we know, frozen beneath the ice, the ice hundreds of years ago, the facility lays dormant to this day. We've progressed only through the first force field, gaining access to the antechamber, where a combination lock of a type we don't understand prevents further exploration. Whatever, it, whatever is inside, it is protected more thoroughly than anything else we have ever encountered. Uh, PDA. Access denied, and um, that isn't going to work. Okay, so let's mooch. Have a mooch. So, what else we can find? Is that. Yeah. Oh! Okay, down the rabbit hole we go, guys. Quite literally, with your ship and radar. I'm not that ship. <laughs> Off it goes, leaving us. Where are you now? 
Still making for the base. Let's shelter now. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that's not going to be good. That's a negative. It is gone. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, we're in. We are in the depths. We're in the water now. Welcome to Submartica, guys. Below zero. Okay, Arctic Survival Guide. Okay, we'll read that when we've got a little bit more oxygen. Um, but for now, let's work out where we are, what we need to do. We have very, very, very little oxygen to play with. But that will soon be remedied. Okay, so typical fish, peepers, boomerangs, all that jazz, all good grub. Um, so, surroundings. Okay, copy, stay where you are and look up. Okay, I'm looking up, I'm dropping a light pod. Can't see anything. And this is one of the things with Subnautica Below Zero. It has got a weather system, uh, for those that didn't know. So, and it is randomized, which makes things very, very, very interesting. Okay, so life pod dropping down, which is gonna be our base, but for now, en route, we're gonna get a little bit of grub. Uh, these guys, hoop fish, yeah. Hoop fish. Bladder fish would go down a tree, give us some water. And obviously with boomerangs and peepers and all that jazz. But we need bare essentials, titanium, copper, as always. Okay, oxygen is shite at the moment. It's crap. But I want to get this blood of fish. Oxygen. New yep. creature discovered. <coughs> Okay, let's make our way to the main live pod. Now, again, with Subnautica, live pods uh, generated in randomised areas. Pretty close together, but not always in the same location. So, I'm guessing it will work very, very similar for this. Uh, you start a new game, he's in a different area. Or pretty much, you know, slightly different. Okay, we want salt. Ooh, sea glide fragments. Ooh. And this is the thing, you just want to explore. The sound effects on this is phenomenal. Again, with the like the original Subnautica. New creature discovered. Now then, Arctic Peeper. Same as Peeper, but Arctic Peeper. Cold, cold people. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Entrance. Let's get in there. Let's see what we can craft, guys. Okay, so we want water. Kick us off with plenty of water. Uh, more water. And another one for good measure. One more for good luck. Fiber mesh. Here we go. We're Wow, all coming in. Okay, so ideally we want cured, but we haven't got the salt. So cooked pepper for now will do. Um, what else do we need? Now then, so ribbon plants, are quite a biggie. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Rubber, fiber mesh. Fiber mesh being uh, creep vine. Okay, so very, very similar to Subnautica. We're going to need knife. We're going to need a tank. Uh, we're going to need the sea glide. Start us off with. So, 
we're gonna keep around our surroundings. Oh, nice. Okay. This place, there are some very, very, very deep sort of areas within this place. Oof. And you look down, you sort of swimming above, you look down and you think, oh. And obviously the sea monkeys, there we go. Uh, but what I'm more interested in is copper and titanium. We know it's going to give us the main sort of components. And obviously, watch out for these ice shells. Okay, we've got salt and we have quartz, which is going to give us glass. Creek vine. Salt, salt. <laughs> and I love these guys. Uh, on the uh, uh, original sort of. Oh, sh Jesus. Oh, fighter. Uh, not those guys, the one, the hoot fish. Swim right through them. Okay, titanium. Not seen a great deal amount of frags, uh, unless I've missed them, of course. Oxygen. Oh, shit. But lots and lots of different types of fish. Okay, let's see what this data box holds. Compass, nice. That is a very, very good starting point. Uh, health kit, good, 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 good. Do we have anything in this little compartment? No, we don't. Take out some flare. Always good to have water. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm going to get a little bit of oxygen because we're on 12 seconds. And we're going to make our way through. So, looks like we're in some sort of void. But we do need to get this scanner going. Scanner made. And then we can at least scan frags. Make the compass, so on and so forth. Salt and quartz, just raw, raw materials at the moment. It should get that little bit interesting. Oh, there we go, look at that. Deep, 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 deep. We're not gonna venture that far yet. We've not, we need that, um, oh shit. We need that, um, ah, three seconds. Come on, go, 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 go. Oof. We need that um, oxygen tank first before we do anything like that. But, yeah, of course. Music in the background is complete traditional Sonatica Blade Runner type 80s synth, which I love. Okay, so let's see what we can craft in this. Uh, I'm hoping a couple of things. Yeah, we've got it. Oh, uh, waterproof lock I didn't really want, actually. That was... That was silly. Okay, so, rubber. Yes, we do. Lubricum. Get rid of raw materials. Glass. We know we need the glass. Uh, what else do I need? Equipment. Fins would be good. It's going to give us a little bit of speed. Uh, compass, so we need copper wire wiring kit. Okay, we can do copper wire. Is there anything else? 
a what like? Okay, so we need fiber mesh. So for that, we're gonna need a little bit more titanium and we're gonna need the creep vine sample, which I believe is achieved by a knife. So, ah, there we go. Silicon, and we should. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, uh, battery. So, ribbon plant, okay. So let's go and get these ribbon plants and remaining stuff that we need. Uh, knife. Now then, ribbon plants should hopefully be in the vicinity. If they're not, I am going to be pissed. Okay, yep. That's what we like. Okay. Really, really need to sort this uh, oxygen thing out. And more ribbon plants. Nice. Titanium. Uh, which I reckon we are good for crafting something and I can't remember what the hell okay so battery we can do battery which in turn we should be able to do the scanner uh, let's check yeah we're good for that oof that is I mean that is bloody scary to be fair You imagine something underneath and you're like, no, can't go in the water, can't go up. But yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be very, very good. Okay, so... Let's... Uh, da, 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 battery, yep. Yeah. And it's going to... Ideally, I would like a torch as well. Uh, we need another battery for that. Which we can do. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking, guys. We are cooking with gas. Okay, so we've got scanner. We've got torch. We've got survival knife. Uh, plenty of water. Not enough grub, to be fair. Uh, we want cured few food because it's going to give us a lot more water. Water. That'll do for now. Okay. And then let's store some of this stuff in here. Uh, okay, we should be okay for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head towards the signal again. Because I know there were various sea glide fragments en route. But this time we've got a torch. So it should. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Siegelite Fragments, where are they? And this is the thing with not knowing bearings. Got to be careful of these sea monkeys, guys. Because these guys steal everything. They can be very, very annoying. Okay, 15 seconds. Come on, we need those signal effects. Okay, surface. Uh, 
No. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Not what we was after, but nonetheless. Yes, that'll do. Okay, PDA. Okay, so cargo rocket sea truck dock sector. Um, your company people would spend their whole lives during luxury hours. Contracts are uh, good reading, but nothing that we need right at this moment. But I'll tell you what we do need is a lot of silver, ultimately. Three seconds, sea glide fragment there in the distance. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, he's done it. Okay. Uh, There's got to be more around this area. Got to be. Got to be. Got to be. Got to be. But, nonetheless, what we're going to do. Oh, you. F what? Bloody sea monkey. What do you get? Oxygen. Okay, this is the thing now. It's a little bit frustrating. Um, sea monkeys disappeared with the knife. And he's gone. He's gone. He's literally gone. But nonetheless, we do have that creep vine sample. Should be relatively easy to get what else we need from that. And there's a lot of data boxes about as well. Yeah, we'll venture down there later. Oxygen. Okay. Any more frags? Come on. No, get out of here. So we need another two sea glide frags uh, to complete the set, which is getting that little bit trickier to find. Uh, if need be, then we can always uh, venture deeper. Uh, obviously, like Subnautica, it's always a case of venture deeper to get to the better, better stuff. But you've just got to be careful of oxygen. And we haven't got a lot. Okay. Oxygen. No. Okay, plenty of titanium, plenty of copper, plenty of resource. Oh, sh And these guys, these um, sort of floating eye shelf type things can be a real problem. Sort of surface, and you're like, no. Uh, okay, where am I, where am I, where am I, there we go. No, sea monkeys, give them a wide, wide berth. Come on, is that a sea glide frag? Yes, it is. Okay, second frag, guys. Hoping, hoping the third fragment will be very, very nearby. It's got to be. It's got to be. Come on. Show me love. Where are you? It's not. But we can always backtrack. Um, I know there was fragments en route. So we can always backtrack, which I believe, if we look at where the base was. Oh, God. 
Okay, we've got Rocket Island over that way. Uh, base over that way. Okay, so a little bit of crafting. Copper wire. Glass. Fiber mesh. And we have standard tank. Okay, very good. Repair tool. Um, it's sort of all queuing up now. So that's going to give us an extra 30 seconds of oxygen. 75, so a minute of oxygen. A minute and a bit. Um, which isn't too bad. Let's see what else we can craft. Which I'm pretty sure we can do. Cover the beacon. Don't know if we need to do that just yet. Uh, survival knife, yeah. Knife to go away. Glass. Okay, let's try and complete the, uh, the full set of Seagullite Fragments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to venture back towards this area. Oh, Jesus. Let's see if we can get anything. Keep close to the edge. And I'm hoping we should find a frag or two. Copper is always going to come in under. You've got to be careful, like I said before, obviously these floating eye shelves can be bloody, bloody dangerous. Ah, what's that? That's something. Brine wing. Assessment, beware a full bladder. Oh. Okay. Seem to have uh, increased the amount of eye shelves, sort of around the sort of area. But there we go, guys. That's it. Single eye fragment number three. Yes, what a good do. Okay, so we can sort of get some sort of distance now, some sort of speed. Okay, just need battery, and for the battery we need. What do we need? What do we need? We need ribbon plants. Which we know are in the caves, and we know there's plenty of caves about. So let's get looking. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's go and craft this. Oh, I can never say no to a bladder fish. It's just a. A rare, rare thing, and obviously the food as well. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's get back to the light pod, craft this sea glider, and then hopefully we should get some sort of. I'm hoping some sort of message in terms of uh, other things. We still need to do the compass. Uh, ba bam bam. But we need battery. And then we're good to go for Sea Glider. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, compass. Wiring kit. Okay, so wiring kit. We're going to need silver. It's going to be a little, little bit tricky. Now, there was a few little caves with sandstone around the uh, emerging supply cache so I do want to venture into those so let's do that now we've got effectively nice 
So we've got around about just over a minute of oxygen, which should be good. Sea glider, it's going to give us a little bit of speed. Should we do it? Let's do it, guys. Okay, let's go. Okay, it was very, very near to this supply cache. And if I remember correctly, it was glowing yellow. So it can't be missed. And there we go. Okay, so sandstone, gold. So we're going to have to be quick on this. Okay, we've got 36 seconds. So not a lot of time. 30 seconds. Okay, going to surface. Ain't going to risk it. Oh, gold. Come on, 18 seconds. And this is a thing with the start of the game. You constantly diving, resurfacing, diving, resurfacing, but... It is what it is, it's painful, but it is what it is. Okay, let's, right, okay. We've got a good run at this, guys. Let's make a difference. Okay. Titanium. Titanium, oh God. Oh no, no, no. Deeper, deeper. Okay, oxygen plum. Do. Come on, where's the silver? Gold. Ooh, you can get very much lost in this place, guys. Sea monkey roof nest, okay. Okay, see monkey babies, we've got, oh god, silver, and he's dropped, where is it gone? Unbelievable, it's there. So there is silver, um, now it isn't the sandstone that we used to in the original Subnautica, it is seconds. silver, silver at all. Yes, we got it, one for good measure, no, get out of here, let's go. 18 seconds. Yeah, we're okay. We're good to go, people. Oxygen. Okay, let's have a look at what goodies we've got. So, sea monkey egg times two. Um, actually, these. Okay, so. Potential acts them. Um... We've got all the stuff required for the compass by the looks of it. Do, 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 do. Wiring kit, which we do need. Yes, we've got it. Okay, so let's head back and craft this compass. And I reckon we're pretty much there in terms of essential stuff. Um, scanner, torch, uh, knife. Sea glider and compass. All good to go. And then I'm going to wrap it up there, folks. Uh, I reckon on the next episode, we'll look at sort of progressing, getting high capacity tank, a um, bunch of other stuff. Hopefully, a sea truck, possibly. But we'll see. Okay, so let's craft this wiring kit. Um, Compass. Okay, guys, we are good to go. All essential gear up and ready. So, hope you like the video, guys. A little bit long winded. It's always up and down with this sort of game. But, uh, but yeah, join me on the next one, guys. Catch you later. Bye bye.